Hey guys and welcome to a new training tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the one-handed dribble. It's an elimination move which you can use to beat defenders on the outside on speed. And I'm going to show you how. So, why is the one-handed dribble useful? It's useful because a bouncing ball is always harder to defend. And also, if you're doing the one-handed dribble, you can bring the ball further forward than with only two, with two hands. With one hand, you can go further forward, meaning you can bring the ball in front of you, which makes it even harder to defend. Another advantage of doing the one-handed dribble is that you can stay more upright. If you can stay more upright, you can get more speed than when you're close to the ground. So because you're upright with one hand, you can go faster than when you have two hands on the ground and the ball's on the ground. Step one, the one-handed dribble. Usually, you use your left hand. You can also use your right hand to go one-handed dribble. However, usually with the left hand, it's a little bit easier because you have your left hand at the top of the stick anyway. Second of all, what you want to do is you want to bring the ball to the left, and then when the defender puts down a stick, that's when you start lifting. So you lift the ball into the air, and from there on, you let go with your right hand, and then you keep lifting the ball down the line so the defender can't reach. The next part is, how do we keep the ball going in the air? Because you don't want to get the ball to go too high, but it also needs to go off the ground so you can beat the defender. Every time the ball bounces, that's when you try and lift with your stick under the ball. So what you get is this. Up, 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 up. And this is just at static position. That's a technique you need to learn. Once you get the hang of that, that's when you start doing it in running motion. So if you want to practice this move, a good way to practice is to put some sticks on the ground, either if you're together with your friends or if you have some sticks at home. Put them about a meter and a half uh, apart from each other and try and lift the ball and let it bounce once in between the sticks every time. It looks like this. Hey guys, um, a few weeks ago I posted the video on the trick shots and um, I asked you guys to send me tricks and I was giving away an STX backpack with lots of goodies inside. So many of you sent me through Instagram different type of trick shots and also just tricks in general and I chose one lucky winner and I'm going to show you now what kind of tricks he did. His name is Matisse De Witt. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to send you a direct message, so uh, look out for that, and um, the backpack is coming to you. If you want to see other videos, check out my channel, and if you have any new ideas, new cool ideas, don't forget to send me a message on Instagram, or just reply in the videos below.